Welcome back to Campus Insider, shifting over to football, where North Texas is hoping to build off a successful 2017 season. The Mean Green Shock Conference USA by winning the West Division with a 7-1 record. The offense led the way with the team putting up more than 35.5 points per game and more than 450 total yards. The 2017 campaign was a complete turnaround for the program. Take a look at the improvement from year one to year two under head coach Seth Luttrell. They got better in numerous statistical categories, but as the team hopes to carry the momentum into 2018, it's time to send it over to Kristen Balboni. Thank you, Ray. And for more on the Mean Green, let's bring in the man in charge himself. That's head coach Seth Luttrell. Coach, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Kristen, thanks for having me. All right, we'll dive right into it. You're returning a number of key pieces on your offense this season. Your quarterback, Mason Fine, your top three receivers. So what are you looking for from that unit going into this season? Well, just getting a year better. I thought we did a great job this spring of, uh, you know, trying to fix some of our deficiencies, making sure we understood what our weaknesses were this past year. And just keep evolving. You know, every year is a new year. You know, we lost a great running back uh, this past uh, year with Jeffrey, uh, you know, leaving us. But, you know, some, some key guys had to step up in that position. I think we have a good group. I think it's a deep group. Uh, a lot of young guys, but they're competing very hard. Uh, we definitely had to get much better uh, offensive line. I think we moved from different guys in some different places, which, you know, gave us a better opportunity to be successful. And, you know, just continue to get those guys on the same page with Mason, those receivers. Uh, they did a great job throwing a catch in this past spring and just making sure we're, we're uh, continuing to be more explosive. Well, you look at your offensive success and then you see the people that you've had the opportunity to learn under, whether it's Mark Mangino or Mike Leach. What have you taken from those coaches that you've implemented into your own program? Well, I think you take a little bit from each coach, you know, and, and you figure out what their strengths are and, and which all those guys I've been around have a lot of great strengths and they've taught me a lot of football. But at the same time, uh, you know, everybody has to be their own personality. And I think the biggest thing is, you know, maybe they did some things that you didn't like or you weren't going to do at your program. So you take a lot from each each situation you've been in and then maybe some things that you didn't like that uh, you can you can uh, learn and grow under and, and try to, you know, make sure that at the end of the day, you just be you and um, set the culture that you want. But all those guys, uh, they, they were phenomenal. Uh, Coach Mangino gave me the opportunity for my first job there at uh, the University of Kansas. And, just watching the way he, he implemented his culture. And, um, you know, he, he did a great job with those players and uh, implementing our system. And, uh, you know, we grew every single year. And within in the three years, you know, we ended up making a bowl game, which is a great transition to kind of end to a guy that was a first time head coach. I learned a lot under, you know, and, uh, obviously Coach Leach, uh, you know, being in this system and understanding that, uh, you know, just keeping it simple for the guys. Uh, you know, do the things that you know the answers to. Let those guys learn that and go out there and play extremely fast. So, again, I've had the opportunity to work for a lot of great head coaches and, um, you know, a lot of great assistants as well. So you take a little bit from each one and, and uh, hopefully uh, one day you get your opportunity to implement that in your own system. All right, let's talk about the other side of the ball, the defense. This unit could feature seven or eight seniors. Has there been a guy that's really stepped up into the leadership role this spring? I think a guy up front you, you look at is Rod Young. Uh, I think he's the definitely the heart and soul of, of that defense, especially up front. And, uh, the things that he did this spring were very impressive. He's a very powerful guy. He's very quick. Um, and, you know, he's very versatile. He can line up inside at the nose and the, and the three-man side of things. When we move to a four-man front, he can play those twos. He can play a four technique. So uh, I think he gives us a lot of versatility up front to where, um, you know, if we need to, we can move him around a little bit, uh, depending on, uh, you know, how how – our depth uh, is throughout the season. Uh, but a guy like that, I think EJ really had a really good spring, um, you know, uh, this past spring. And, uh, he, you know, he's continuing to grow and evolve and understand this defense better and better. And, um, those two guys really stood out to me this past spring. And coach, when you look at last season, you finished with a nine and five record, seven and one in Conference USA. What defines success for you this year when you're setting out your goals? Again, getting a year better. Now we've, you know, we, we set some uh, high goals for us this past season, being undefeated at home. Uh, we wanted to make sure when people came here that, uh, you know, we played great and we wanted to protect our house, which you got to give our group a lot of credit. They did that. They were very relentless. We had some very tough games here at home. Um, but we want uh, this place to be a very special place to play and our, give our fans, you know, uh, you know, the right way. We want to play the right way for our fans when they come and see us here at home. So we've got to continue to do that. And again, uh, the, the goal that we still have not accomplished was win our bowl game. We, we had the opportunity to play for uh, two bowl championships and, and came up a little short uh, both years. So that's definitely going to be a huge goal for us this year. 
And with the success you've already ha had, it's hard to avoid rumors about, you know, potentially taking a different job or people looking at you. How do you deal with those distractions when it comes to dealing with your team? What do you tell them? It's been very easy. And, and to be honest with you, I haven't really addressed it because they haven't asked. But here's what I would say. Uh, you know, I'm kind of in my footprint. This is a great place. I got an unbelievable administration uh, with Ren Baker as our athletic director. Um, we have an unbelievable president. Uh, so they're giving us the resources here necessary, uh, you know, to be successful. And that's all you can ask for as a coach. And again, our, our family, uh, we really uh, enjoyed our time in Denton. It's a great community. Uh, I love I love where I'm at. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here on Campus Insiders. We hope to talk to you again soon. Kristen, thank you very much.